Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson. In this episode, we're going to be talking about removing the write protection on a Chromebook C720, which is made by Acer. Now, this is going to void your warranty, so do take that into consideration before you jump into this. But what the benefit is of removing your write protection screw is you will be able to then go ahead and boot your own firmware. So it could be, which I recommend is going to be in a, a Linux distro of your choice. And that way when you boot into your Chromebook by pushing the power button your normal way, uh, instead of going directly into your Chrome OS side of things or even giving you the option to choose either or, uh, it'll simply just boot into the Linux distro or the distro that you've chosen to install on the other side, which I do have a video, which I'll have a link in the description on how to do that. Now what we're going to need to do is you're just going to go ahead and remove the back panel to your Chromebook. So go ahead and just flip it over, remove all the screws. There will be screws, one, two, there's tons of screws all around it. Uh, and then there will be two, one right there and one right there as well. Uh, you'll need to remove both of those. Uh, when you pop off the back, you need to pull off just a little tug. You do need to be careful though because if you left the screws in the hole when you pull it up, chances are some of those are going to probably pop out because it kind of just snaps out real quick. Uh, so do that into an area where you're not going to lose those screws, otherwise you're going to be you know, missing a few by the end of this tutorial. Uh, once you've popped it up, you're going to see something similar to this. Now this bottom side is going to be the front of the Chromebook facing me, uh, and that's going to be the back side of the Chromebook over there. As you can see, those are the hinges right there to where the uh, monitor is going to be, or sorry, the screen is going to be. Uh, so what all you're going to need to do is look where this number 7 is, is you're going to see that there's going to be a small little wire. Chances are that little wire could be covering up over that so you won't actually see that little screw right there. All you need to do is go ahead and unscrew that. Now once you've unscrewed that, you can go ahead and it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt, I know. Uh, go ahead and put back on your panel for a second. You, need, you might need to make a, screw, a few of those screws on. Uh, the reason you need to put that panel back on is your Chromebook won't turn on. Uh, it has a protection unit on there so it won't allow you to do that. So once you've done that, go ahead and flip it back over. Uh, you can go down in the link description. You can see that I've uh, how to install another ISO because you're going to need to boot into legacy boot and all that type of stuff. So before you do all this, make sure your stuff is definitely backed up because you are going to completely wipe your Chromebook. Uh, and that's all it is. So then once you have your Linux distribution or whatever else uh, installed, you can then just go ahead and flip it back over, make sure everything's powered down, uh, go back in, and then just re-screw in everything. So now when you re-screw that screw back in, it's going to lock your Chromebook into that exact mode. So that's all that write protection is really doing. Uh, you're just, you know, removing the kind of little latch that's not letting you do something. Then you're going in there and doing what you want, putting everything just the way you want it, and then you're reapplying that latch so things can't get messed up again. Uh, then every time you boot into a Chromebook, you're not going to have to worry about that little scary screen. Uh, it'll just boot right past that. You don't have to worry about pressing the spacebar and deleting everything. It'll boot right past that as well. You can press spacebar as many times as you want, and all you're going to get is a little sound. And that's about it. So removing the right protection, very, very easy. Just scary when people don't really have a visual, I guess. And they're more worried about that warranty value. Uh, so also, you know, if you're somebody that ruins devices quite a lot, I, I probably wouldn't go into this route. Uh, if you're somebody like me that... You know, I don't, I don't even know the last time I've ever had to use a warranty on any of my products, to be honest with you. I'm pretty good at keeping things together here. Very, it is my lifestyle. Let's just keep it that way. So if you do have any questions or comments on how this all this is going to work, you know, always leave it in the section below. Again, I'll have all the links in the description on how to go past this next stage and get, you know, your Linux distribution that you're looking for to be installed. And that's about it. As always, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.